All right, we're here for the Portland Open Press Conference 2021. Paige Pierce with us. Uh, Paige, I saw you just got off the course a little bit ago. Just want to get your first impressions. Yeah, I've gotten to play two rounds now, and the course is long. You know, it's it's going to be demanding on us physically, um, ripping lots of shots, kind of like Stockton, but a lot more elevation, and really, really beautiful piece of property. Does it still feel like Portland golf? Obviously, we don't have the fling this year. Uh, the venue moved from Blue Lake to here, and I know Oregon golf is held in such high regard. Yeah, but it's still kind of giving that stamp of approval. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the... I can't believe that we're able to play on this property. It, it feels so, so epic being here amongst all these trees and these rolling golf hills. Um, and yeah, the views of Mount Hood, is, is, they're all still there. So I think it's almost a little bit more challenging in the aspect of the elevation. Uh, Beaver State Fling does have a few holes that have elevation, but uh, um, you know, and then the Portland Open playing at Blue Lake, there's not much of any elevation. So it's it's really awesome that the Pro Tour was able to keep this event happening and switch venues so late and to still have this event. So I'm, I'm very thankful to be here. Uh, you've been on a roll lately. You've won a national tour, a pro tour, a major, all in May, all in Northern California, and uh, all kind of since taking the week off. Um, you came back just swinging. What message are you trying to send right now? Yeah, I think just hopefully that everyone stops judging me for decisions that I make. You know, we make our own schedules and I'm taking care of what my body and my priorities, what I think that that is best for me. So hopefully this kind of tells people like, hey, stop judging. You know, everyone needs has different needs and uh, I'm taking care of mine and back out here swinging. Hi, Paige. Chris with Gatekeeper. I have two questions for you. Uh, happy belated birthday. Thank you. Um, turned 30, I believe, correct? Yes. Um, so that marks another 10 years before you hit 40 in Masters Division. Uh, what's like a 10-year goal for you? For these next oh, man. Uh, yeah, try to get as many titles as I can. Try to keep my body healthy so that I'm able to still throw the disc as well as Juliana can at 50 years old. So uh, I think it's, it's, it's very telling after playing with her and seeing, you know, um, on a whole... I don't remember what hole it is. The hole before gravity at De La. Um, it's just the long bomber shot towards the down tree. Juliana was throwing farther than Haley King. And, uh, you know, that just kind of tells me that you can still do it when you are of master's age. You just got to take care of yourself. So I think the, the primary goal is to take those breaks when I need them, when, listen to my body as it's telling me something sore. And, uh, yeah, continue to play this game that I love so much for many, many more years to come. Awesome. And uh, lastly, uh, I'm looking at your Indiegogo right now. You're at $57,000 yeah. of your goal of $75,000. Yeah. Uh, still 21 days to go, so things are looking good. Um, how's that coming along? I know you put out a new trailer yeah. and everything. It's awesome. I, I haven't checked it in the last two days, but I checked it earlier this morning and seeing that we're, I think it's like 74% of our goal is, is what that equates to. And it's awesome. I can't, I, I'm so appreciative and I, I don't even know that I can really find the words to express how much this means to me, but hopefully those people when they see the movie come out and they see it on these major platforms they're going to feel proud that they helped make this happen and you know for the people that haven't donated yet maybe you're on the fence um, I'm actually gonna do a YouTube live on Sunday morning before my round I'm not sure of the time yet I think tea times are gonna be around four o'clock every day so probably gonna go live around 11 a.m. Uh, Pacific time on Sunday to answer questions and kind of like you know, give you guys some more info on what's going on with that. Thank you for asking. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you.